everybody, my name is Patrick and I own Fieldworks Software. It's going to be a really short video showing you a new feature for DisplayWorks that's in 1.2 that should be coming out either later this week or next week in early March 2023. Um, it's going to be a streaming setup board. So uh, previously you can create all the boards you want to, but they were all kind of uh, based on the idea that you would be running it on a LED display. Uh, these new settings allow you to use a kind of more streaming style display. Also, you can split the time off of the uh, off of the board so that you can put the time on screen someplace else. So let's get into it really quickly. So now the basic idea is that you are creating your results board just like you otherwise normally would. And then you are taking that results area and then you're moving it to the streaming board. And the streaming board then allows you to set up a separate running time area. Now you don't have to, if you don't want to, you can go ahead and put everything where, where you would normally put it. But I think it was more reasonable to think that there were, we'd wanna put a running time in a different part of the screen. Um, so you can see we've, we've got a board uh, set up and then all these things are going to be inherited over to the uh, the other board and then we're going to use two line show test data and and we're not showing right time so the switch to switch to the board and we can see this is what we should be expecting on screen sorry it might be a little bit truncated because of the capture software but when we go to switch to streaming you're going to see over here on the left, we have main settings that cannot be changed here. All of these settings can only be changed from the primary screen, uh, the, the one that we just were on. And the one thing that's added here is the background green. This green with this X value is typically associated as being green screen green. Okay, so this is going to be populated in the background areas, things that you do not want to be on display. So now over here, uh, we have a couple options. Now, if you really did want to run everything in the same little area, you can, or if you wanted to run the uh, switching boards for links, you can, uh, but otherwise you probably want to have split time and results panes turned on. So with the check mark and the border down here uh, is just, you know, adding a little bit of niceness. You can see the border color is in red right now because uh, a little bit crazy. So I'll set that to a little bit of a better color. And then um, all the all these settings here are things that you can change over here, except for the, re the size. The size of the results panel, that is going to be inherited from that main screen. So it says inherits for its size. Um, and then you are going to then be able to create an offset. And the offsets are all based on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. So this point is 0, 0. Uh, this point would be 100, 0. This would be like 100, 100. So all of these things are based on that offset from the upper left-hand corner. And um, yeah, so let's go, go ahead and create it. You see we have the test data here and we've got a border outline on here and then we've got the running time clock that's ready to go. Um, I haven't opened up an event in links, so I'll go ahead and do that now. We see 0, 0. And of course I can come back and I can style that 0, 0. I uh, can go back to the main screen, increase the size, switch back to streaming, create the streaming board. Now it's bigger. And it also inherits the color characteristics, so we can go back to the main screen. And if we wanted to go yellow, we can do yeah, yellow, go to switch, create streaming board. Now we've got a yellow clock for some reason uh, that, that will run. And so there you go, that is it. Uh, now, of course, you can come back in and you can turn off the border uh, if you don't want that there, and then it'd be super flat design. Um, this box, I'm working on, on getting that box kind of a little bit more more fixed. I want to make sure that we center the uh, the time, and then there might be the ability to put in a little message over the top if you want to, um, but otherwise it uh, should be be good to go. Yeah, sorry, not populating. So, so yeah, here we go. Um, hope that all makes sense. I hope it's not super duper fast. I mean, honestly, I think it's going to be pretty intuitive. Um, there's still a few few little quirks that I'm going to work out in the next few weeks, like in order to get back to the board, normally you click on the board, but I want to be able to maybe click just anywhere on screen to get back. Um, but otherwise, I'm really happy with the implementation of it, and uh, it's been working very reliably. So, thanks for watching.